Yep. Inter Miami bringing up uh, Corin uh, Corentin Jean from League One's RC Lens. A little uh, time up front or a help up front at this time. Um, another team that is struggling putting the ball in the back of the net at this point. Uh, 18 goals, right? Level with uh, Chicago and Kansas City, who we just said were struggling, you know, mightily. Um, so they bring him in. And he joins the likes of Leo Campagna, who's on loan, will be leaving soon, and Gonzalo Higuain, who has been not featured very heavily. Um, but he comes in. I don't believe he's made a, an MLS appearance yet. No, he has not. Um, $1.2 million fee. He's a French U21 international, now age 26. Has never made an appearance into... The first team, but that's because you have guys like Benzema and uh, Mbappé, whoever that guy is, uh, keeping him out. Um, 160 games in Ligue 1, 12 goals, 12 assists, so a goal every 650, 660 minutes. Obviously not a, uh, a, a massively strong poacher, but uh, succeeded a little bit better in Ligue two or league due uh 58 goals 17 appearances campagna seemed to be a pretty good answer but maybe this is just competition for him what do you think campagna has definitely had a super strong season and he's i think forced inner miami to start to question iguain even though the entire rest of the league probably already realized that uh I I want to reserve my thoughts on this one, honestly. I don't know if uh, – it, does he play as more of a winger or is he more of like a striker? Because his numbers uh, don't – yeah. He's more of a striker. His numbers aren't super strong for a striker. Correct. He doesn't – he hasn't gotten a lot of starts lately. I think in the last – the last time he got more than six starts in a season was 2017, 2018. So it's been a while. Uh, I would assume that this is like a TAM deal. I can't imagine this is a DP signing. If that's the case, I mean, I guess take the shot on it. I just feel like with the pull that Inter Miami had when they first were starting up as a club, it seems a little bit underwhelming. I know, obviously, I don't want them to just go sign a big name. Like, the way that they have been building the team lately has been very good. I just don't know if the recent results from Jean necessarily make me feel confident that he would transition very well here. Yeah. Um, obviously, not, not a massive... <clears throat> excuse me, uh, not a massive move in terms of player name or recognition, but like Phil Neville had mentioned, um, once Chris Henderson came in, it became an actual understanding of player talent and how it fits into a system versus let's just get the biggest names over here. They're not playing FIFA 22 anymore. We're actually going through a process to sign players, which is important, right? We've talked about, um, we've talked about how it very much feels like it very much feels like they were playing FIFA career mode, right? It's going to sign this player, this player, this player, roster rules, forget about that, right? But yeah. instead, um, they're out here thinking about who can we sign and where do they fit in? Um, so again, his numbers might not be great, but they might fit a mold. He might fit a mold that'll fit their system, right? I don't think this is a, a sign and flip deal, but he can revitalize some some sort of spark here and, and become a very good player. Maybe. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But I'm sure. not I'm not too convinced. Also, side note, did you know he's won Ligoon before? With uh, with Monaco. Yes. He was there for one season. I think that was in Bappy's year. Yeah, and that was he had two appearances. What a legend. 
101 minutes. Hey, listen, as long as it gets you a medal at the end of the day. That's right. Um, I'd be interested to see if they go two up top versus just, you know, him versus Campania, play Campania on the wing a little bit, because um, they have Vasilev and Robert Taylor who have been playing relatively well. Be interested to see how they fit him in there. Um,